In this example, we're going to use R to conduct some instrumental variable analysis um, using some fake data and using some real data. Um, so you can get used to the process of doing a first stage, generating predictions, doing a second stage. Um, and I will also introduce how you can do it with just a single function like IV robust, so you don't have to do the first stage predictions, second stage, um, because that gets really tedious. Um, so if you go to the class website, there are some um, CSV files of data that you can download. So go ahead and download those and then open up RStudio and we will start by making a new project. Um, so let's switch over to RStudio. I'm going to go to File, New Project. Hopefully you're getting really used to this idea because you've been doing it throughout the whole semester. Um, we're going to create a new directory, a new project. We're going to put it on my desktop in real life. You'll put it somewhere. Um, where all your other stuff is, um, and we'll call this IV Fun. Um, and I'll go ahead and click on Create Project. So it will close this RStudio window, and it should open a new RStudio instance that is pointed at that new folder. And that's always important because this automatically sets the working directory for you, um, so you don't need to worry about um, absolute file paths or anything like that. This is just RStudio pointed at, if you look right here, desktop IV fun, it's pointed at the right place. Um, if you look up here, you can see all of the, the projects that you've opened before. Um, so it's kind of a faster way to get around to stuff. And if you look in your files panel, you can see that it's looking at uh, the IV fun folder. The only thing in there right now is this IV fun project file, which just tells RStudio that this is a project. Um, if we went to this um, folder on our desktop and then double clicked on IV Fun, it would open a new RStudio window pointed at that place. So that's good. Um, next, we want to put um, our data into this project so that we can then load it into R and do stuff with it. Um, so to do that, I've already downloaded the data into my downloads folder. Um, we just need to move that into this folder, this IV Fun folder. So I'm going to go to my desktop here using Finder. And we named this folder IV Fun. So I'm going to make a new directory in here called data. And we're actually going to use multiple data sets. So far, all of these examples, I've had you download like a single data set and then put it in a data folder, which seems kind of excessive. Um, but in this case, there's three different data sets we want to stick in our data folder. Um, so it's good to have a subfolder because now it's not like clogging up our main directory. So that's good. So I've been teaching you best practices for a reason. Um, so we're going to go to our downloads folder, and we're going to move um, father's education into the data folder. We're going to move card.csv into the data folder, and we'll move wage2.csv into the data folder. So now we have all three of those things sitting in a subdirectory called data, and we can do stuff with them in R. So if we come back to RStudio, and look in the files panel here, you notice we have a data folder. We can look in it, there's all the CSV files, cool. So if I click back a level, there's our data folder. Nothing's actually in the environment yet um, because we haven't loaded any data yet, but we have, act like it's there in this data folder, we have access to them later. Um, so finally, we need to go make a new script so we can type our code and type our text and do the actual analysis. So I'm gonna go to File, New File, R Markdown, I'm just going to leave all the default options here because you can change that later. Um, we'll shrink this console down. And we can go ahead and put a title here called IV Fun, all caps because I forgot to lift up my pinky, so we'll leave it there. Um, I'll select from line 7 down to the bottom because we don't need any of that placeholder text. Um, but we do want this metadata here that has the date and title and author and stuff. So we are ready to start doing some analysis.